I had originally anticipated only two uh, parts of this video, but I'm almost done, I promise, so bear with me for about five more minutes. So, um, I just stopped when I was talking about Ted, Lavender, and his name, um, but he is this analogous character to youth, and um, every time he's mentioned, our narrator tells us he's scared, um, and unlike the others, what makes him different than the other characters is that um, he he carries this fear in a very apparent way. He physically carries his fear and he pays a certain price for that, um, for this inability to get a handle um, of his fear. Is there a lesson in, in, in that? I wonder. I, I think that feeling. I think that that, that what Tim O'Brien, the narrator, um, is is trying to tell us is that that the feeling of fear. The feeling of fear is not the problem. Like we all fear, fear, we all fear. Um, but I think that the choice on how to deal with it in an effective way. Um, or ineffective way is the issue, and and not to say that um, not to say that he's responsible for his decisions, um, because Lord knows I'd probably be the same way if I were put in his situation. But um, this idea of of not being letting the fear control you instead of you controlling the fear. I think it's also worth noting that lavender is a a, a plant, um, one that has this these kind of calming antiseptic um, properties that's used to treat. Apparently, according to the internet, um, it's used to treat depression and anxiety, um, which I, I didn't know until. Um, I knew that it was like a calming agent. And I was like, mm. um, anyways, Dr. Google tells me that it's used for depression and anxiety. Um, and, and those are things that ironically Ted has trouble um, um, with. He's constantly trying to numb himself to the horrors around him and he's kind of incapable of doing so. And, and could that have contributed to him being shot while he's, you know, taking a leak? I don't know. He's so out of it. He's so drugged up. He's so, you know, high or whatever um, that he didn't recognize the danger he was in. I don't know. Um, anyways, um, I think it would also be remiss of me to not mention um, Jimmy Cross, JC, Jesus Christ, Cross. Um, I'm not implying here that Jimmy is some sort of Christ, um, well, I'm, I'm, uh, Christ is usually, you know, innocent and pure. Um, I'm not implying that Jimmy is innocent. Clearly he's not. Um, but he does carry a cross. Um, and the, the, he carries the burdens of himself, the weight of his own guilt, his own poor choices. Um, and he also carries, um, the burdens of the other men in his platoon. Um, he carries the cross of this war, his war experiences, so that other people back home, like Martha, um, don't have to. So in some ways, he sacrifices a bit of himself um, during his time at war. So that's all I'm going to say about the things they carried. Um, I'm hoping and looking forward to our group discussion board um for discussing the short story. I really love this short story. I think it's um, so rich for analysis and um, it may not be your, your cup of tea. It's not something that I'm typically drawn to, but I think that it's so well done. And if you liked this story, um, I encourage you all to look into um, the, the rest of the things they carried um, where you will see all of these characters Again, um, we find out more about, you know, Henry Dobbins and Brett Riley and uh, Mitchell. Um, and um, so I encourage you all, there's like free PDF files of it on, on Google. So um, having said that, if you have any questions, I can't wait to hear what you guys thought of the story. Um, and I'll be, I'll be talking with you guys.